Welcome to the Emerson Exchange Studios. I'm Jim Cunningham. I am joined by Terry Busby, Group President for Final Control. We're going to be talking, of course, about Final Control. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. good. Thank you. Let me just jump right in. Here's a basic question. Yep. What do you mean by Final Control? Final Control. Well, you know, I'd, I'd start it simply by saying, you know, we're in the valve business, right? And a valve is what it is, right? And Final Control is what it does. Okay, so essentially when we're talking about all of the piping out in the field, inside a plant or in the field, uh, the valve is what controls the flow. And so we are essentially, and I've used the term here at the uh, conference, we are the muscle, right? Or we're essentially what controls or isolates uh, the flow media inside that pipeline. So final control is what it does. A valve is what it is. Valve is what it is, final control is what it does. There you go. I think I got it. Good. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the acquisition of Pentair's valves and control business. And what does that mean for final control at Emerson? Well, I, I tell you, it's, it's, uh, it's an incredible acquisition for Emerson, no, no question about it. It's, it's had quite the buzz even for the last four or five months, and I think we've raised the profile of final control big time here at the exchange <laughs> without question. But what it does is essentially we were in the control valve business, and then we also had instrumentation and actuation that went along with that. Uh, essentially, when we acquired valves and controls, that was just an incredible amount of synergy to what we had, meaning not a lot of overlap, but now instead of just having control valves, instrument actuation, we now added to the isolation, we now have an isolation business and extended our way into pressure relief valves to really add to our pressure management offering. So a lot of times, you know, you'll have some of that overlap, in this case, we are really synergistic and it really made us a very complete supplier to our customers. So you'll hear us talk about the term main valve partner. Yeah. We have the breadth of portfolio and technologies and services where all of a sudden we can be truly a main valve partner. Mm. So it's, it's big. Yeah, it is big. And it sounds to me like you are making final control a very strong focus at Emerson. What, what other investments is Emerson making in this area? Well, you know, I mean, Emerson, we, we like to, uh, we like to create separation from competition, really create differentiation for customers. So I'd say one of the big things we do without question, the service opportunity is huge. So now, you know, we go from say hundreds of tags inside of a plant to literally, literally thousands. Wow. And so whenever we can all of a sudden be that very local service partner, not just in one region of the world, but all around the world, uh, without question, that's one of the huge investments that we're all about. Uh, we also invest a lot in technology, but oftentimes you need to test that technology. So we have some incredible, what we call innovation centers. In many cases, it's flow labs. I would say that's uh, a pretty significant investment we're, uh, we're all about. And then without question, we're, we're kind of joining the, you know, we've always been in there with digital instrumentation, but it's almost like the digital world has finally touch the valve business a little mm -hmm. bit more. So you're going to hear us talk, we're hearing, talking a lot more about and investing a lot into what we call connected services, right? So all of a sudden we can truly monitor our valve equipment inside a customer's plant. We can be an extension to their maintenance teams or reliability teams and basically uh, watch for when they're losing a little performance or maybe even watch for when they're going to have something get out of control. So those are just a couple of other investments beyond just the portfolio and technology sure. itself. Yeah. Uh, before I let you go, let me just talk a little bit with you about additive manufacturing, yeah. which seems to be generating a little buzz in yeah. the industry. How is this going to impact final control? I, I tell you what, it, it's, uh, you know, manufacturing's tough in the, in the valve industry. I mean, we, uh, we start by pouring hot metal uh, and, and making a casting, right? And if you think about it, the foundry industry, I mean, you and I, you know, our children didn't basically go to school maybe to go to the foundry industry. So it's been a little bit of a, a stressed uh, industry that way. So what, and so we would basically pour that casting and then begin to machine it or remove the material to get it to the net shape. Well, now when you talk about additive manufacturing, that's really 3D or industrial 3D printing, right? So now all of a sudden, rather than starting with raw material, we're actually starting with metal powder is my supply chain now, right? And then we're just sitting here layering on with laser like capability, basically take something and build it up to the net shape. So it's almost putting manufacturing, turning it around and really transforming the industry. So where we've had supplier challenges with foundries, we've really already 
the, the technology has had a major impact there. Anything that is um, a very low volume, one-off, uh, very difficult, say maybe we, we uh, welded tubes together in the past or welded plates together in the past, now all of a sudden you're just building, building that up, right? So it, it's, it's going to be a true step change in the manufacturing to delivery element to our customers. And then also, oftentimes, our, uh, we're not as design limited as we maybe be manufacturing limited. Right, so the ability to all of a sudden come up with, say again in the sphere service area or tough materials area, we all of a sudden can actually, you know, take what was not possible, and now all of a sudden make it a real uh, new design and, and really opens up innovation for us. So it's additive is a big deal, and I think it has created a big buzz uh, here, and I think it'll probably uh, have more buzz uh, in the coming years. Wow, that really is exciting stuff. Uh, thank you, Terry, for spending some time with us here at the Emerson Exchange Studios. Thank you, too, folks. If you want to find out more, you can at emerson.com. <laughs>